messy new apartment. Today I have a really easy DIY for you that uses materials that you probably already own and it is making flowers out of fabric. I know that most of the country is still buried under several feet of snow, but this is a great craft if you want kind of a reminder of springtime to come. This is a craft that's been around for ages, so some of you guys might already know how to make them, but if you don't, I thought that I would teach you because I just think they're so cute and I made this in literally like under 10 minutes. So you're going to begin with some fabric. In general, the heavier the fabric, the more sturdy your flower is going to be. For this example, I'm using a blue canvas, but for all of the other examples that I made, I just use normal thinner fabric, so don't feel like you have to go out and buy anything special. Now grab something circular, I'm using a mason jar lid, and begin tracing it and cutting out the circles. You're going to want one circle for each petal of your flower, mine is going to have six. Don't feel like your circles have to be completely perfect, but they should be fairly circular because otherwise the folding isn't really going to line up right. And don't worry if your chalk or marker shows through on the edge of the fabric because that's all going to be hidden in the center of the flower. So once you have all of your circles cut out, grab a sewing needle and some embroidery thread in a color that matches your fabric. Now pick up one of your circles and fold it in half and then in half again so you have this sort of wedge shape. And then use your needle to sew along the bottom of the wedge edge and you're going to want to leave a tail of thread on one end. And make sure that you're starting and ending the stitches right on the sides of the fabric. The number of stitches you do is up to you and how many folds you want inside the petal but you should make sure that they are symmetrical and remember exactly the placement and the length of all of your stitches so that you can repeat it exactly on all of the other circles. Once you have your first petal stitched, push it along the thread so it kind of bunches up and you can see how it's starting to look like a flower petal. You can also push the indentation up or down depending on which petal design you like the best but again, it should be the same on all of your petals so that they match. And now repeat those same stitches on the same thread with all of the rest of the circles, bunching them up as you go. And once you have all of them sewn on, take the two ends of the thread and tie them in a knot so that the petals make a circle and you can see how it looks like a flower. Trim the ends of the knot and adjust the petals a little so that they're evenly spaced and perfectly folded. And now we have our basic flower, but to finish it off, take a button and hot glue it to the center of the flower. And if the bottom of your flower is a little messy, you can also hide that by taking a small circle of your fabric and gluing it over the bottom of the flower. And there you go, now you have a simple fabric flower. These are great for wedding decorations, or you could make a flower crown, or you could glue a piece of string to the back and then tie it onto a tote bag or anything else that needs embellishment. I think my favorite use though is to glue a hair clip to the back, and then you have this really cute hair accessory that you made all by yourself. So you can also experiment with the size of the flower. Here I made a large one and then filled in the center with a flower from the craft store and I just think the varying textures look so cute. Or you could make a large fabric one and a small fabric one and then just glue them on top of each other to get this really cool layered flower effect. So let me know in the comments what would you do with these fabric flowers? Would you put them in your hair or make a cute pin? Maybe attach a magnet or some other use that I haven't even thought of. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and come back every weekday for even more DIY videos. Bye everyone!